I wait for him to pull into the parking lot. Mm -mm. He's not slowing down. Friend now, come on. Come on now. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir Duvit, and today I'm going to be playing a game called See Through, Need a Friend. I've been following this game on Twitter for a little bit of time, and I've been very excited to finally get the chance to play it. So by the looks of it, we're, we're in for a bit of a ride. I like your fit, friend. I like your outfit. I like that. That's very nice. I like your barrettes. I like that. I like your cut, G. I have a feeling me and him are going to be best friends. Best friends, by his standards. <laughs> Play with me. That's so cute. Oh. Okay. Don't scare me, friend. I don't like to be scared. I was never insane except upon occasions where my heart was touched. Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's cool. I like that. I like that. That's very, hot. very nice. Very hot. You better do as I say. No. Nobody tells me what to do. I can ruin your life, you know. Try me, bitch. What's that supposed to mean? How dare you? I can make you wish you were never born. Whose voice is that? And why are they telling me what to do? How dare they? Yeah, that's what I thought. It shouldn't be too much trouble, right? Open your eyes. Don't. <laughs> How dare you, friend? If this is friend, I don't know their name. How dare you scare me right off the bat? All right, open them, open them. What you got? What you got? I try to open my eyes. It's dark. I feel something touch my shoulder as if to soothe me. I don't know who it is, but their voice is luring me back to sleep. Softness envelops me. Soft. Shh. Go back to sleep, my dear. All right. <sighs> the humming continued as I pulled back into slumber. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, that is spooky. That's pretty spooky right there. What does that say over there? Those who walk into the lion's den will surely be swallowed whole. Well, that's a given. Any cute Yandere that wanders in front of Espoir du Vide is going to be married. Your lungs feel ice cold and your throat is dry. Good thing I've got my capuissons. I've got several. You've been running for a long time from, from that thing. Do you even know where you are at this point? Well, the wrong way sign is upside down, so, which means this must be the right way, right? Desperately, you croak out a cry for help, and your pitiful voice echoed across the empty city. No one heard you. At least, no one seems to be around to hear you. Hello. There is the soft echo of footsteps. Oh, hi. Hello there. You called out to the stranger, begging for help. Hey. Help. Wait, that's not right. <laughs> Something isn't right. Where do you think you are going? You heard a laugh, and it bounced off the emptiness into your bones, making you shiver. You can't get very far without me. You need me. The stranger continued to shout at you, but you couldn't hear anything over the sound of your heartbeat pounding in your chest. You have to hide. Oh man, oh no, oh here we go. No. You need to run. I did it, oh no. Um, um, run? Uh... E. I run. I run! Heck. Did he get up all in my grill? Did he get up all close? Friend? Friendo? Stop. I shot up in my bed, sweat dripping off my face. 
What's that, a monkey paw over there? <gasps> what are you doing here? Alan? Get out of here. <laughs> Cute. I angrily glare at my alarm clock before slamming my hand on the snooze button. Finally, silence. Really glad that alarm didn't keep going, like past the dialogue box. I stretch a bit before going back into my covers. Wait. Who am I again? What's my name? Just wake up from a terrible nightmare and forget my name? I am Espoir. It means hope in French. Oh, right. I'm Espoir. Who else would I be? What are my pronouns again? Just wake up, forget your name and your pronouns. Oh, yeah. Man, you know it was a good sleep when you can't even remember your entire existence. That's good. I like that. <laughs> I just wish I remembered what I was dreaming about. Ooh. Well, you might not remember Espoir, but I remember. It was terrifying. <laughs> I've got more important things to worry about. Like tomorrow's the first day of my college career. I would be lying if I said I wasn't kind of nervous. Okay, maybe a lot nervous. I decide to finally get out of bed. I look around the room at the various knickknacks and books I own, looking for something to take my mind off of tomorrow. I have a couple of minutes to kill before going to work anyway. Boonie. Boonie. This was the first plushie friend ever gave me. He makes a lot of them. Oh, he makes them? Oh, he makes them. So I keep them on a shelf on the other end of my room. Oh, he makes them. Oh, that's precious. I typically keep this one on my desk at work, but I brought it home with me. The plushies friend gives me are also cute, but sometimes I turn them around because it feels like they're watching me. Mm -mm. Which is silly. <laughs> What's with this monkey paw hand? Ah, a poster from one of my favorite anime. Which one would that be? Alan? Alan, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, that's Alan from My Dear Hatchet Man, created by Gnome Dweller. Such a good game. I should play it later today. Oh, it's, it's precious. It's heartwarming. You know what? I am kind in the mood to read. I crouch down to get a better look at my bookshelf. What genre am I in the mood for today? Uh, romance. Because I don't like scale. I like the romance. I want to read something sappy. I settle on an... You only have a few minutes, me. <laughs> Come on now. I want to read something sappy. I settle on, on an all-time favorite. The Royal's Loyal Dog. Giddily, I settle back into bed and open the book. What are you doing in my room? You plan on staying in bed all day? Holy shoot! In a moment of panic, I drop whatever I was holding. Friend snickers and picks up the thing. Sorry, it's just me. He hands the item back to me. Well, yeah, why wouldn't I take it back? That would be rude. As for the second playthrough, I take the item back. Wow, you're really funny. I replied sarcastically and took my property out of his hand. Oh, come on. It was kind of funny. How'd you even get in here? He gives me a confused look and digs into his pocket. You gave me this, dummy. Don't you remember? He dangled his keychain in my face, which just so happened to contain the spare key I gave him for emergency use. Aww. What a good guy. What a best friend. I bet he doesn't have anything nefarious planned. I bet he's a, I bet he's a great guy. And the little narwhal keychain I gave him when we were in sixth grade. Aww. You're such a nerd. I can't believe you still have that. I point to the decrepit narwhal. <laughs> well, it's adorable. Of course I still have it. He tucks his keychain back into his pocket. Anyway, I came by in case you wanted a ride to work. Walking is good for you, but being the nice person I am, I decided to see if you wanted to give your legs a break. Aw, how nice. Tis what friends are for, sweetheart. All right, give me a few minutes and I'll be ready. You only had a few minutes, me. You sat down, you play with your plushies, you opened a book. We don't have time for that. Take your time. I'm going to use your TV to catch up on my show. 
He waves at me and saunters off into my living room, closing my door with a soft click. Ugh, I really don't want to go. But, gotta pay the bills. Blech. I miss being a kid. I remember when friend and I would go investigate haunted buildings together and do all sorts of crazy stuff. Being an adult sucks. I'm right there with you. Mm. I take my pajamas off and slip the uniform skirt over my head, quickly buttoning it up. God, uniforms suck butt. Big booty butt. <laughs> ah, enough complaining. I leave my room and walk into the bathroom. I can hear the faint sound of the show friend is watching. I pick up my toothbrush and squirt some toothpaste on there. You know, it was really nice of friend to take me to work today. I really didn't want to walk. After I go through my daily hygienic routine, I head to the living room. Weirder activities. Hey, let's go to the store. What store are you going to? The store store! Friend? I call out. Yep, I'm here. Figured you'd want some water. It's good to drink water first thing in the morning. Alright, if you say so. Aw, how sweet. He hands me the glass and I guzzle it down. Hey, since we're driving, maybe we can stop and get some coffee too. Mm, I don't know. I sheepishly rub the back of my neck. Money has been kind of tight recently. Plus, I don't want to end up being late. You sat down and opened up a book. That's fine. I'll pay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I'm not even that... My sentence was interrupted by a yawn. <laughs> you were saying? Friend laughs. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> we make our way out of my apartment complex and onto the sidewalk. Friend leads me to his fancy schmancy car. <laughs> I see you, baby. Oh, wait, that says, I see you sleep, baby. <laughs> That's a great license plate. <laughs> Here we are, my dear, he says as he opens the passenger door. I politely bow and fix my imaginary monocle. Why, thank you, kind sir. I duck my head into the seat and buckle up. Just gonna have a normal day, normal drive to work, nothing bad's gonna happen, just no normal day, normal day. Friend closes the door and makes his way to the driver's seat. He starts the car and I feel the soft vibrations from the engine. We ease out into the street and begin making our way over to... Wait. Where are we going? Friend? Friendo? Buddy? So, you decided on a place to get some coffee? Hmm? Oh, yeah. There's a really cute cafe nearby. They're supposed to have these really good frappes. Hmm. How far is it? Friend chuckles. Don't worry, it's not that far. He said and patted my knee assuringly. Something about that touch made me feel... Uh-oh. Hmm. Flustered. I am pretty flustered. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty like... <laughs> Oh, friend, oh. <laughs> Flustered. I felt a tinge of warmth across my face and turned to look out the window. I watched as the buildings disappeared behind us. Friend's hand didn't move an inch. You gotta put both hands on the steering wheel, friend. Is this all right? I whipped my head around to face him. I mean, I'm not making you uncomfy or anything, right? No, it's fine. No, it's good. Friend sighed, relieved. Ah, good. The last thing I want to do is make you uncomfortable. Aw. He spoke coolly, his thumb gently stroking my thigh. I nodded and went back to looking out the window. <laughs> he should, friend really should have said, this isn't sus, is it? No, it's not sus. When it really was very sus. Friend turned up the radio and began to softly sing to the song. Hey, friend, I'm not going to be late again, am I? I asked, crossing my arms. He chuckles a bit and takes a single glance at me. What makes you think you'll be late again? Mmm, 
unlucky guess. Hmm. He hums a bit. I mean... Friend, I cannot be late again. I'll get fired. I'm sure your boss will understand coffee is important. And besides, you won't get fired. Just trust me. Friend, I just told you that money is kind of tight right now. I need all the hours I can get. Shh, relax. I promise you won't get in trouble. Friend. Just both me and MC in the game. Friend. Buddy. Pal. Chum. Why won't you trust me? <laughs> Weepy faced. Would it make you feel better if I said I already talked to your boss? You what? Wait, what? He was very nice about it. He said you've been such a hard worker and that you deserve it. Really? That doesn't sound like something Mr. Jameson would say. Yeah. You swear I'm not going to get in trouble at work. Of course not. I used my charm. Friend? <laughs> well, if you did that, then I guess everything is okay. <laughs> right. But do you pinky swear? Mm. I extend my pinky out to him. While he's driving, come on, road safety. Oh, I pinky promise, sweetheart. He's a schmovie. He's definitely a schmovie. How dare you? How dare you scare me and then win my heart? How dare you, friend? Hmm. <sighs> All right. I believe you. We release each other's hands and friend goes back to humming to the radio. His voice was pulling me into a soft slumber and it was getting harder and harder to keep my eyes open. Now, I know there's already something sus about friend, but it'd be really, really ad adorable if he had, like, some latent ability that could put me to sleep, you know, without chloroform or bonking me in the, in the head, but he just has a voice that could lull you to sleep no matter what. Oh, that, that would be a deadly, that would be a, a deadly thing for a Yandere or anyone to have, really. <laughs> I guess that would be like a Jigglypuff, then. <laughs> I yawn, and then look at him. You know... You have a nice voice. What? I said you're a dork. <laughs> we pull into a parking lot at a building I don't recognize. Eh? We're here. Friend giddily unbuckles and exits the car. Then he circles back around to my side. Friend opens the door and unbuckles me. I rub my eyes and yawn. Come on, Sleepy. Friend extends his hand out to me. Of course I'm gonna take his hand. This is the first playthrough. I'm doing what I want. I, sleepily, take Friend's hand as he helps me out of the car. He shuts the door and places his hand on my lower back. <sighs> Let's go. He practically purred and escorted me to the front door. Mm hmm. The aroma of coffee enveloped my sense, giving me a second-hand caffeine boost. It's a cute little shop, but not very busy, it seems. There's a few people over by the corner of the store, just chatting. Coupled with the upbeat music, it feels very homey. I scan around the place, just seeing one employee here who looks like he'd rather be anywhere else. Man, it's like a ghost town in here. Yeah, it isn't a very busy place, so I thought it'd be perfect. Do you know what you'd like to drink? Hmm. Don't make me choose. Uh... Ooh, lattes. I like lattes, but I can't have too much milk. Uh, I'll have whatever you're having. Whatever you're having. Oh dear. <laughs> Friend gives me a mischievous grin. Are you sure? I don't know if you can handle it. Oh yeah? Hit me. Alright, hotshot. Why don't you go grab us a seat? Friend gives me a smile as I make my way over to the empty table. I plop myself down onto the seat, leaning back with a sigh. Hopefully Friend was telling the truth about me not getting into trouble at work. I mean, not that he's a liar or anything, just... Uh, what am I worried about? I look out the window. The quiet and the warmth of the cafe it holds lures me into a deep thought. I begin to think about a couple things. 
Rent is due soon. Hopefully, this short outing won't make me short on rent. The landlady is very kind and understanding, but I don't want to make her feel like I'm taking advantage of her. Not only is rent due, but school starts tomorrow. Maybe I should look into getting a roommate. I would ask friend, but I'm not sure. He's basically set for life, what with his online store and all. What would he need a roommate for? I'm sure he wouldn't, I'm sure he wouldn't oppose. Maybe my boss will be kind of gentle about this. Now that I'm thinking about it, how did friend find his number? Mm. The office numbers are private, due to scam calls and silly teens pulling pranks. They're only handed out to business clients. Did I tell him and just not remember? Well, I don't know, me. You forgot your entire existence when you woke up from a kooky dream, so maybe. As if on cue, friend comes back with two cups. Holy cow. Two sugar-filled, diabetes-inducing drinks, ready to be consumed. He sits my drink down in front of me before taking a seat, and I stare at the giant piece of cake that lays on top of the drink. Holy cow! I mean, I like some, I like some coffee with my sugar, but uh, jeez, that is just too much. Right, I think I remember hearing a thing that friend really likes sweets, but oh, dear. A couple of people are gonna die tonight in a coffee shop. From, from the sugary drinks, not from, like, any Yandere business. <laughs> Why is it so big? That's what she said! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I gesture at the monstrosity that is this... Frappe. Don't do it. He clears his throat. Oh no. Alright, fine, I won't. Wait, is he gonna... <laughs> Oh dear. Oh goodness. Walked right into that one. Alright, that's it. F friend is getting an engagement ring. He's getting an engagement ring. I'm sorry, friend. We're married now. You're you're becoming my roommate and we're getting married. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, you're my you're you're my husband now. We're having soft tacos later. <laughs> that's what she said. Why? Because it was hilarious. You're the worst sometimes. Sometimes I question our friendship. No, I don't say that, you meanie. I take a sip of the concoction. Ugh. It wasn't horrible? So? I grip my chest and pretend to be shocked. <gasps> I... I'm still alive. This is a miracle. Friend laughs. Aw, they seem to have a really good friendship. Don't take this too far, friend. I can assure you that you are indeed alive. Thank you for your reassurance. We continue to banter and joke around when my thoughts dragged me back to my question earlier. Hey, friend. Yes? Did you really call my boss? Of course. I wouldn't lie to you. How did you find his number? It was in your contacts, silly. Oh, okay. I mean, if I'm gonna give the guy a key to my house, I, I guess I'd be okay if he's using my phone. He wipes his face with a napkin, and I notice that his entire frappe is gone. Jeez. Question more. Change the subject. Uh, I'll, I'll leave, I'll leave that f I'll questioning for later, but uh, let's talk about something else. You're a suspicious dude sometimes, you know that? Suspicious? Does that make me more attractive? Bra. 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 Yes. <laughs> Look at you falling for me already. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Gosh darn it. Why are you the way that you are? He shrugs, a look of confidence gracing his features. What can I say? I'm just that cool. I snort before swirling my drink around with a straw. Wow, so cool, so good, isn't it? Sarcasm does not suit you, sweetheart. Oh no, your eyes are doing that cute thing. He sighs playfully before reaching across the table. <laughs> oh. 
He wipes my face off gently, chuckling. His fingers ghost on my face, lightly stroking my cheek. He was extremely close. Sir, you're going the right direction to get smooched. I'm, I'm sorry, you're going to get smooched and married. He whispers softly, like I was fragile. You can be too cute sometimes, you know that? <laughs> he sat back in his seat like nothing happened. It takes a moment for me to process what just happened, but when I do, I can feel my face heating up. Might have to <laughs> turn this fan on for a bit. Might have, have <laughs> Sitting at the table uh, where my computer is, it kind of feels like I'm sitting at the same table and he's sitting across from me. I'm like, oh, I'm on a date with this cute guy. I feel nervous. What should I do? <laughs> Aww, cute. Oh, hush, you just caught me off guard, is all. Friend chuckles a bit before gathering up our stuff. Whatever you say, sweetheart. <laughs> Don't make that face. Ready to go? Yeah, wait, what time is it? Friend glances around the cafe looking for some type of clock. He spots one on the other side and squints a bit. No. <laughs> it is 10.30 a.m. Oh my god, I'm so late! I pounce out of my seat and make a dash for the door. Where are you gonna go, me? You, you drove here. You drove here. What are you gonna do, run to work? You don't even know where you are. Hey, hang on. Friend throws away our drink cups and quickly follows suit. Friend opens the door for me as I plop myself inside, buckling up once again. Thank you for the coffee, sir friend. Anything for you, love. Friend taps on the steering wheel nervously. Hey. Hmm? Do you want to hang out some more? We can go wherever you want, and I can pay. We have school tomorrow, though, and since I'm going to be late for work, they may keep me over. Well, you don't have to go back to work. I mean, you're already late anyway. You could just hang out with me. Dude! Come on! I got stuff to do. I got responsibilities. And you are absolutely adorable, and I'm already infatuated with you. But I have to go. I have to go, sweet darling. I have to go. But you best believe that you're getting proposed to after all this. <laughs> I kind of need to go back because I need, you know, to live. Hours are hours. Friend pouts a bit. Well, we are going to the same school and stuff, and I'll make sure to wake us up on time for class. I'll buy dinner, snacks and stuff too, if you want. Friend, you know I like hanging out with you, but I gotta get rest, and so do you. Yeah, honey, you don't look like you get very much sleep. You'll need the sleepies. Maybe another time. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's ominous, friend. Friendo, come on now. Friend doesn't respond. We sit in silence for a bit. Uh, all right, fine, meanie. Friend says, pouting. I chuckle a bit. Oh, don't be a baby. We can hang out this weekend. We head down in the direction of my workplace. Well, thank you for the ride. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. I wait for him to pull into the parking lot. Mm -hmm. He's not slowing down. Friend now, come on. Come on now. Hey, friend, my office is right there. Sorry, maybe I should have said it sooner. If you take the next right, you can make a U-turn and... You're not, you're not gonna do that, are you? You're not gonna, you're not gonna, you're just, you're just taking me wherever, but friend! Friend, we got school! We got work! We got stuff to do, man! He doesn't respond. Hey, friend. Hmm? Oh, crap. Sorry. I guess I got lost in thought. <laughs> I doubt that. You silly. Take the next right. You got it, boss. We circle back around the office and friend pulls in. You were thinking about driving off! 
you were thinking about it. You were seeing how far you could get, and you were thinking about just driving off, weren't you? Weren't you? But you didn't, and I really appreciate that. I appreciate you, friend. I appreciate you for not giving in to your urges. Like the gentleman he is, he helps me out of the car. Once I'm out of the car, I stretch a bit. He stands there for a moment, as if he was expecting something. Thank him for the coffee, or wave him by. Um, where's the smooch option? Where's the peck on the cheek option? I need more lovey-dovey with this boy. Actually, no, no, you shouldn't. He's your friend. You shouldn't make it weird. Don't make it weird. Thank him for the coffee. Boop. Hey, thank you for the coffee. I really appreciate it. Any time. It's the least I can do. So, I'll see you later, then. Hey, wait. Hmm? I turned back around, confused. Um, I'll see you later. I smile and nod. Of course. I run up to the entrance and make my way to my desk. Mm. Aww. Is that that moon guy over there? I love all the Easter eggs in these games now. I love that. I love that so much. I encourage other VN artists or VN developers to do that. That's so cute. I clock in and sit in my cubicle. I feel full and refreshed. It was really nice a friend to take me out like that. I'll have to repay him sometime. My hands graze my keyboard, wiping off some dust that seemed to have accumulated. Oh, can I type some stuff? Ah, my first Halloween that I spent with friend. We wore matching vampire teeth. Oh, You know, the ones that glow in the dark. I've never had one of those. Those are neat. Oh, I gotta send an email. Pens. Just some pens. Oh yeah, send that email. Do it. Uh, hello. Today's schedule is going to consist of going over next month's quota. All employees need to enter the conference room today by 3.30. Send that email. Nice. Can mark that off of things to do. Guess I should also look at the paperwork and stuff. I stretch in my chair before finally clocking out. My eyes feel so heavy, it sucks having to stare at a computer screen for hours. I even had to take my breaks and lunch here so I could finish this transcript. The second it was time to go home, I bolted out of the door. I step outside, basking in the glow of the moon and the fresh air. What a day. I began to walk home, making sure to text friend. He always gets so worried and hates when I walk, but I just like the calmness the night brings. Plus, a walk is good after being hunched over my desk for so many hours. It's not that far anyway. Yeah. Oh no, this looks like the place in the beginning where the dream was happening and it was a scary dream and then friend was on the other side of the sidewalk and it was really scary and I had to run away! <laughs> the streets are empty, giving a ghostly feel to it. Uh, what am I talking about? I'm being ridiculous. I say out loud to no one in particular. The cold seeps in as I continue walking down the lonely street. I eventually make it to my apartment. We're not- Oh boy. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, the, the spooky, the spooky is happening. Wait. Didn't I step outside already? I step outside, basking in the glow of the moon and fresh air. What a day. I begin to walk home, making sure to text friend. He always gets so worried and hates when I walk. Maybe I should call him and see if he'll give me a ride. Hey? Are you pulling some shenanigans? Because if you are, I'm alright with that. Um, yeah, let's call him. If his phone rings right behind me, I will scream so loud. Totally lose my marbles. Yeah, I should call him. It's creepy out here. Thank you for coming to get me. I'm sorry if I bothered you. You're never a bother to me. Oh, the little hearts. Oh, dear. Did something happen? I don't know why. I just felt really uncomfortable walking by myself. 
You know, I'm more than willing to give you a ride, right? Whenever you need me, I'm here. It's hard not to feel safe when he's so reassuring. Hmm. Thank you, friend. You can always count on me, love. Aww. I flop onto the couch, letting my body slowly relax. No, aren't you uncomfortable wearing that right now? I groan, muffled by the couch cushion. He snorts and takes my shoes off from me. Oh! What a gentleman! Why don't you go change? I'll get a show started for you. Mm, fine. Help me up, please. I reach my hand out to him, and he takes it. I stumble a bit when I'm fully off the couch. I gotcha, I gotcha. I lazily meander my way to my room and quickly discard the uniform. I slip on something comfy and come back to the living room. Friend is there, eating some snacks and watching unsettled mysteries. There. Don't you feel better now? I nod and plop myself back onto the couch. After a few episodes, Friend yawns and picks up the remote. The voices on the TV stopped as Friend mindlessly scrolled through the service. Hey, I was watching that. Watching what? He sticks his tongue out at me. How dare you, sir? Whatever. Give me the remote. He laughs as I lunge for it. You gotta be quicker than that. You almost had it. Arrgh. I lunge for it again, yet friend expertly dodges my grasp. Oof, too slow. Yet again. That smug little... I jump on the couch and reach for it yet again. Yes, got it. Haha, <laughs> take that! Friend stares at me, wide-eyed and blushing. This position on the couch is a little... I quickly get up and adjust my clothes. Friend sits back up and stretches. Fine, since you won fair and square, we can watch more unsettled secrets. Mysteries. Whatever. <laughs> he smirked, then handed out a bag. Would thou like some snacks? I am good, thank thee. Mine pleasure. Friend pops a chip into his mouth, and we get enveloped in the series. Until I felt something hit my cheek. I rubbed my cheek and looked around for what it could have been. Friend was focused on the TV, so... I look around one more time, even upwards. Huh. Weird. I turn back to the TV and feel it again. Is he throwing chips at me? That's so adorable. Except this time I hear a snort from the butthole next to me. I turn to him as he tries to focus back onto the TV. Wow, real mature. I jokingly replied, throwing a chocolate stick at him. Well, hey! He tosses another chip at me, which I catch in my mouth. Good on ya. Foiled again! We both laugh, but eventually my tiredness won, and the last thing I saw was friend watching TV. You hear the faint sound of shuffling around and feel something warm enveloping you. A door creaks. Softness. Good night. Sweetheart, I love you. Aww. Oh dear. You made it cute and then you made it weird. I love you so much. I just wish you could see how much you mean to me. I love you so much. It hurts. You're so cute when you sleep. I love you so much. I love you. Friend? 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 Oh dear. Ending. Friend. Oh. That's a cute ending. I like that ending. I like friend. I like friend a lot. This guy? I like this guy. This guy's okay. I like this guy. Hey, espoir. I pull my attention away from the cats and look at him. Yeah, what's up? I need to tell you something. <laughs>